Hello guys, I want to talk about a random number generator um, um, today uh, because in the Unreal Engine I had the problem that I only had the uniform distributed random number generators uh, but in some case I don't want to have them uniform distributed uh, and I was looking for um, a functionality that maybe gave me an, a Gaussian distribution or some normal distributed random numbers and yeah I uh, searched for that in the internet and I found an article here about the polar method um, this article is now here in, in German but you can find it uh, in English as well um, but I found it very helpful here in, uh, in the German article um, because you have a uh, step-by-step um, explanation how to create this and how you can transform uh, uniform distributed random numbers into Gaussian distributed and yeah we want to um, create this now in the Unreal Engine and for that I already prepared something that we want to um, use later on but now uh, I want to create a um, function library which is in random numbers and yeah I want to create a normal distribution And for that, um, I need, of course, the mean value as an input, and then the variance and another input. Then, as you can uh, see here in the uh, article about the polar method, you need two independent uniform distributed random numbers in the interval of minus one to one and you have to check this and you have to repeat it until it um, fulfills these requirements and yeah I want to set this up now so for that I will implement some while loop and then this will continue with the test and I want to create another um, the polar method um, proof and for that I need the two random numbers at the input random number one random number two and yeah the output um, gave me then these um, Q value and of course if this method is fulfilled or I have to repeat it in the while loop so I have the Q value here and then of course boolean and method fulfilled And then I have to check if the sum of the squares of both. So I have here a square um, function. I can use this one. So I have to check the sum of both. So what add? them and then I have to check if this is zero or if this is um, bigger uh, than than one then I have to repeat this so the method is not fulfilled so in other words that means if I'm smaller one and I'm not equal to zero so I'm not equal to zero and I'm smaller one just both methods are fulfilled 
both requirements I mean then this method is uh, fulfilled and the Q value is the thumb of both so it's this one here so and then I can go back to this function I want to set this to private um, yeah then of course I need uh, the uh, my two random numbers these are red um, uniform distributed so I need random float in range and this is uh, minus one and one and because I uh, want to use these variables later I'm I'm saving this here is random number uh, number one and of course my random number two so this is both in the uh, in the while loop and then um, I will continue until this method is not um, or doing this when this method is not fulfilled so until it's fulfilled so let's clean it up a bit Um, good enough and we want to store this value um, also so I'll promote this to Q and um, that's it here for the while loop I will loop it until the method is um, fulfilled and then I'm completed and of course I have to uh, run this um, at least one time and um, after this step as you can see here I have to calculate uh, my uh, random number or my p-value um, so I another value here which is my random number and I'll set it and um, let's see how we can calculate it so we have to use the square root um, by minus 2 of logarithm of q and divided by q and yeah we will uh, do this now we have the q value here and we will use the natural um, logarithm and of course then divide this by this Q value and, uh, multiply it with the um, minus 2 factor and uh, then I have to use the square root of this okay and Let's take it out. And yeah, then this is my uh, p value. And you can see, so my random number, my uh, Gaussian distributed number is now this u or v value, which is here our random numbers we created in the first step, um, multiplied with this p factor. And so I can uh, create two random numbers but because I'm now in my function I only want to have one function so I uh, have to multiply this and of course I can um, pick one of these numbers a random number one or two or um, yeah I can say okay I want to select randomly so 
random bool in uh, in range and we have this one or we have this one so we can choose one of them and yeah this is then our uh, oh yeah, already here this is our random number and uh, yeah that's normally already that's it what we want so we can um, export the random number or return the value um, Uh, but on the one hand, the the Gaussian distributed is infinity to the a minus uh, or to the plus infinity side, so we have to clamp the values. And for that, um, I also want to add the range here. You can say, okay, I want um, to have around my mean value in a range by for example plus minus uh, 10 or whatever so and uh, for that um, I want to check um, or we uh, we can first uh, do the return we have the return here so and this you if you can see it here, so my return value is I have uh, the variance and the uh, mean value. And uh, now I want to uh, return this random number here. So I have to uh, multiply this with my uh, uh, random number with my variance and then. Um, add the mean value to that. So I have the random number here and I want to multiply it with the variance here. Let's take it around here. And then I want to add uh, the mean value. So I want to add it underneath it. Uh, okay, and I can return it. But as I said, we want to clamp our values, so we have to check um, here, man. If our created random number or random value here is um, in that range, and you can see it, we uh, multiply it here with the vari variance, so that's why we check the ra random number, uh, multiply it also here with the variance. And here we check it for both sides, so we um, do the absolute value. And let me shift this a bit around. Um, and we want to check if this value is bigger than my... Re oh. Sorry, this has to be in the mean value. Um, it's bigger than the uh, uh, bigger than the range so I have to check it here and yeah if this is not the case then everything is fine and we can uh, continue and we can return our random number as we planned and if not uh, we have a value which is um, outside of uh, our range and then of course uh, what we could do is we go back here in this while loop um, yeah maybe this is uh, the easiest way go back here and, and start from the beginning uh, 
of course this could lead to an endless loop if we have a bad function so if we have a variance which is much too wide and we have too many values which are outside of our range then this could lead to an um, endless function so normally I would um, have another test here but for now we can do it so or otherwise we could um, maybe just randomize the values and distribute it uh, so for example we can calculate the random number uh, random float in range and, and then say okay we have our uh, mean mean value minus and where is our range this is the range um, or this one plus our range we can distribute it here then uniformly uh, in our area and that's also fine and maybe should remove this one well, okay we can have here an absolute value as well for that I um, already prepared here this presenter and um, what this is doing it's um, I can show you it's um, simply uh, loops over in a specific amount here it's um, thousand times and it is create just a simple box and it's set this in to a specific range and then you can um, see it uh, like a stack uh, in which number is uh, mounted how often or um, taken into account of how often and you want to maybe go with the range from minus 10 to plus 10 and um, the, in the moment we have the uniform distribution so uh, let me go back you can see it here so if this is false then we have the random integer in the range from the min to the max volume and um, we can check it out here um, yeah this is what we expect uh, so you see the um, numbers are random distributed um, but uniform nearly uniform of course Okay, now it works. And yeah, we can uh, see here we have an mm, not uniform distributed but more uh, Gaussian distributed function. And uh, for example, we can we can set both here and, and one which is. Uh, normal and which is one which is uh, random distributed in the same range and yeah let's maybe have another one which is also normal distributed um, but we have much smaller variance value check it out so we see here with the smaller variance we have much more values in the middle and um, not so wide range to the outer edges and then a very smooth curve here for a higher variance value and then the uniform distribution there in, in the end here so yeah that's it so and you can see you can easily create your own Gaussian distributed uh, random numbers with that and yeah Let's try it out and have fun. Bye.